Good morning, or good evening, depending on who you watch this, and welcome to the People's Stimulus Check stimulus and Stimulus Package Update with news included. And today on the news side, we have Education Secretary Betsy DeVos has submitted her resignation, making her the second cabinet member to resign over President Trump's response to the mob breaching the U.S. Capitol on Wednesday, according to officials. Isn't that nice, right? And this is, this is, this is a good one. Okay, we got a newly elected state Republican official from West Virginia has been arrested and charged by federal authorities for illegally entering the U.S. Capitol Wednesday as part of a pro-Trump mob. <laughs> a Republican, wow. <laughs> That's so great. And then, Democrat leadership in the House, U.S. House is calling for the removal of President Trump days before his term expires. They're willing to try to do... Uh, Amendment 25, the 25th Amendment, or impeachment. Capitol Police Chief Stephen Sound, son, sorry, resigned from his position on Thursday, one day after a mob of pro-Trump rioters attacked the U.S. Capitol. Isn't that weird, right? And then a woman finally shot, the woman fight, fatally shot, as a mob stormed the U.S. Capitol, has used Twitter to amplify her vow, her views, including false allegations that November's elections was rigged with fraud, riddled with fraud. And then the day was a fulfillment of wishes, and yeah, well, let's just put it this way: it's Michelle Obama, and she's she looks happy in the picture, but she's actually pretty pissed off at Trump because she says that. Uh, she blames infantile and unpatriotic, un unpatriotic Trump for riot in U.S. Capitol. She's not happy with him. Okay, and, and then during the struggle at the Capitol, the police officer was hit in the head with a fire extinguisher, two law enforcement officers said. And it's the U.S. Capitol Police identified who died after he was assaulted by pro-Trump mob. And then pro-Trump insurrectionists identified as Richard Burnett, 60 years old, and he's been arrested for it. And then that is basically all I have for you for the news for right now. But I do got you stimulus check news. And on the stimulus check news front, well, we have what's going on with the D.C. besides the Democrats want Trump out of office. But, of course, what's new about that? Don't they always want Trump out of office? But now they believe they have a smoking gun to actually put him out of office. Um, Schumer and Pelosi have now called the removal of Trump from the presidency if he doesn't resign, either through the invocation of the 25th Amendment or via Vice President Pence and, via Vice President Pence and the, and the presidential cabinet or through the impeachment process in the House followed by a trial in the Senate. Well, none of these uh, senders, none, none of these situations actually seem highly likely. Pence is opposed to doing the 25th Amendment, and basically, you, you, Trump has Republican supporters, so I don't think they'd be that good in, this, in, in the Senate either. And now the talk about the two, no, actually, let's put it this way. Let's give you a good one. We're actually going to talk about the two thousand dollars stimulus checks right now, because there's a bit of ups and downs on that one. But you stick with me. I'll tell you what it is. Now uh, on the stimulus checks thing, which is our past, will be actually quite amazing for many people. So basically, you'd be getting a fourteen hundred dollar check since you already got the six hundred dollars from this current bill. And the good news is, is that Joe Biden, Nancy Pelosi, and Chuck Schumer all want $2,000 stimulus checks. Chuck Schumer said that the $2,000 checks would be his first priority when he becomes Senate Majority Leader. But there are roadblocks, such as the Senate Republicans. But it looks like we also have at least one, one Democratic Senator when it comes to passing the stimulus checks that probably won't happen. Democratic Senator, Democratic Senator Joe Manchin of Virginia 
he said to the press that he will he would absolutely not support another round of stimulus checks. Now, isn't that pretty bad? We actually are trying to help people out, and he doesn't want to do it. And he's a Democrat. That's pretty bad. I mean, he's he. From what I've learned, heard about him, I mean, he he almost sounds slightly Republican with some of his views and some of the way he talks, but he actually might be able to be brought around by Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi about how the two thousand dollars checks will be able to help people out. I mean, they might make it more stricter than it was before, where it actually goes out to the people with a lower cap. So, in other words, if they might actually drop down to like a, if they make fifty thousand dollars or less a year for singles and double that for married. But um, we'll see. I mean, we we hope he gets on board and gets on board because we're going to need as much help from both sides of the Senate to pass this bill. But next, until next time, you guys had a wonderful evening. And I will broadcast again to you tomorrow when new information comes available. So until then, you guys have a wonderful evening. Bye.